Yo, what is up guys? Bring you guys video here today and yes, as you guys can tell, I finally cut my hair. If you guys watch my previous videos, you guys can go ahead and roast it. But anyways, man, let's get right into it now. Blueface Baby and Race the Kid, man. Now look, before I even say anything, I'm going to just say this right off the bat. Whoever the heck manages or wh whoever the heck is like the label of these two rappers, Race the Kid and Blueface, why would you guys drop their project the same day Lil Uzi drops his project. Eternal would take which was waited for about three years guys since 2018 or 17 was the time the last time Uzi even dropped the project. However man this video is not about Uzi. Let's get right into it. Now look Race the Kid man he talks as if he's on top of the gang. He's his own CEO but then the numbers of his sales or just in general his projects that have been released in the past couple years have not been showing that. Now, don't get me wrong, Rissy Kid is a promising artist. I think he's pretty cool, and I think what he's accomplished with the past couple years is amazing, and props to him. However, the boss man it is not that. It is not it. Now, look, the first, few, the first song, Far From You, was kind of like me reading the book, and I got hooked on it. It was amazing. It was like a soul-type beat, like a trap soul-type beat, and it kind of got me like, wow, this is going to be a lit project. And then I just got overwhelmed with a bunch of these trap beats, a bunch of features that just made no sense at all. Like, it didn't make sense for him to have a lot of these features. I'm not going to name them, but you guys can go ahead and look at the project yourself. And to be quite honest, man, I just didn't find myself enjoying this project as much as I did as The World Is Yours 1. Now, The World Is Yours 2 was kind of like a, mm, it was there, it was cool, but it wasn't all that. Now, let's talk about the sales. 15 to 20K the first week. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and mention Uzi's again. Yeah, 300K plus, and Rich the Kid selling 15 to 30K, and he's saying he's his own CEO, his own boss. Well, at the end of the day, if you're your own boss, that's pretty cool, but you can't be really talking smack if you're pulling numbers like that. But anyways, man, I'd like to hear you guys' opinion on Rich the Kid's project, The Boss Man. I liked a few songs, but nothing really eye-catching. Now, my bad, that's <laughs> in my throat, like, I don't know, whoa. But let's move on to Rich or Blueface. Now, Famous Crip was his previous project or his debut project. And to be quite honest, I enjoyed that more than Find the Beat. Now, look. Find the Beat, man. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't even know where to begin. All these West Coast type beats or YG wannabe type beats, they just were not it. Now, I understand the vision he was doing with this project. I, I completely understand, but it just was not there. And to be quite honest, man, I felt as if that he just wanted to have fun on his project. The Chimichanga or the Changa song, I don't know what, it was something like that. It was just awful, guys. Like, I don't know where the heck he was even aiming towards when it came to this project. Like, was he expecting this to go even higher than his previous projects? Dothiana, um, I forgot. There was some song, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the track list on the screen right there so you guys can go ahead and take a look at it. But the problem that I found with this project, again, like I said... He, he just didn't take it serious. And it seems to me that as if he's taking his social media on his Instagram more serious than his music. Now, don't get me wrong. Blueface is a comedian. He looks like he's a funny guy. He's a pretty cool dude. But his music, I want to see him develop more. Like, I want to be able to say, hey, Blueface is at the top of the game like YG is. I want to be able to say that because I frequent, I frequent Blueface. But at the end of the day, guys, that's just my point of view. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right off the bat. I know my opinions are very bold. A lot of the statements that I say, you guys probably might not agree with. But hey, that's actually the beauty of it, guys, because I don't want you guys to agree with everything I say. Just because I say, I want you guys to agree with it because the way you look at it and the way your perspective, your perspective is. That's that's one of the best things. When you guys disagree with me in the comment section down below, or if you agree with me, hey, I appreciate that. But when you guys disagree with me, it actually makes me better and seeing things probably differently. But that's just my opinion, guys. Look. At the end of the day, first week sales don't necessarily define an artist's level at the, at the music or rap game. But the reason why it's such a big deal is because it's really showing as if, hey, if you lit, you lit. The first week sales show it. But at the end of the day, man, it, it was honestly just a mistake by the label, whoever the heck manages Blueface or Risha Kid, to release your project the same day Uzi did. Like, that just does not make sense. No, there's been a lot of projects dropping lately, guys. My apologies. I haven't really got to them. But I'm only really making videos that the artists that I'm kind of relevant with. However, if you guys want to see me drop a video on any of your favorite artists, let me know. 
But going back to these two projects, man, look, it wasn't for me. If it was for you guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it. But hey, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. There's so much content that I can definitely work on, guys. So, man, just keep pushing, keep grinding. Whatever you're doing, make sure you go hard on it. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. It will really mean a lot to me. But as always, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching. And as always, have a great day.